All right, beautiful, beautiful. How's that? How are we going, team? How's your Tuesday? All good? Oh, don't don't go all too fast. We're so excited. Fantastic! Woo! That's the yeah. spirit, Robin. I knew I can count on you. Absolutely. <laughs> right? It is the beautiful Tuesday. So uh, it's it's I can see the sun, but it's still freezing. My hands look like they've got frostbite. But all good. That doesn't stop me from being here on with you guys. I mean, uh, you know, this is the Tuesday morning crew. Let's pump it. And like every other day we've got for production hour. So awesome, awesome, fantastic. So without further ado, uh, you know, our topic, I, I sort of touched base with it with brother yesterday. Uh, it was network, you know, why network marketing? Why the industry that we're in? Right. And uh, I remember uh, being presented my first network marketing business. And, uh, you know, to be honest, I had no idea what network marketing was. Right. Just a little bit of a vague general idea of what network marketing was. And that, uh, to me, it was just, uh, you know, either a collective names of uh, business or, you know, uh, CEOs or founders or a network like a community network, like a church network, something like that. But nothing along the lines of uh, an industry where I could earn passive income. So this is something that uh, I didn't even know what passive income was, <laughs> right? So when I first started, so it was a bit of a shell shock for me. None of my family were really into uh, Mway or, or any of these network marketing companies um, in the day. So I, I wouldn't have a clue. And, uh, you know, a couple of, I was really lucky to join a team that I had a couple of leaders that guided me through um, network marketing itself. It, it was bad enough I had to grasp the idea of the business that I was in, but also just network marketing in general. So what I'm going to share with you guys is, is, is just a little bit of the thoughts that really went through my mind uh, while making the decision on network marketing, what it was, uh, what, what's the pros and the cons of it, you know, what exactly it was all about. Because some people like my husband, for instance, he didn't even know what network marketing was. So we were thick as two bricks when we were introduced uh, to this industry. So Chris wasn't any better. I mean, his family is in, you know, either in the armed forces or they're in mining. So that was as much as, you know, or trades of some sort. So that's the only, he only knew what he knew. And that was the nine to five grind. And that's all we knew, you know, you've heard from Sione uh, in earlier trainings and some of our trainings that you really can't condemn someone for something they really didn't know what it was, you know, because they're blindsided to it. And, and that's part of growing within our journey, uh, not only as crowd one as a business, as a network with your team, um, but, you know, also in the industry itself. The belief around our industry is very still 50-50. Uh, they still think it's risky. They still think it's, you know, like not the way to go. But, you know, do really people think about what risk really is? You know, our current jobs are already risky as it is. And you can see in the last 12 months, uh, a year and a half, that's impacted people uh, in different ways with the pandemic, right? And uh, loss of income is, is probably one major thing. Uh, but yeah, definitely education around our, our industry is also just as important as you understanding uh, your why being in the business or choosing the business that we, we, you know, that we're doing right now, which is crowd one. All right. So let me just uh, share my, my presentation. Uh, let me just bear, bear with me that I've got the right one too. <laughs> All right. So let me share. I'll stop my... Um, my video just for bandwidth, uh, just to help in that way. Hopefully it does work if I minimize. All right. Okay, can someone, um, Josie, uh, if you can confirm that you can see that? Yes. Awesome, thank you. All right, so, just, a, just the, uh, you know, a question out to our family, you know, have you ever faced in your lifetime, right? Have you uh, ever faced uncertainty? Why do I feel like that's just over certainty right there? <laughs> okay, must have been a typo error. Hey, it's, it's called uh, uncertainty. Okay, so definitely a lot of 
in life, whether it will be a job, whether it will be a business. All of us have come across those two avenues in life. Agreed? So we'll, we'll try and make it as interactive as well. Uh, going into the chat, feel free to comment in the chat as well. So just let me know just, um, just offhand, how many of you guys have experienced that? Just uncertainty, whether in, in a job or business. Yeah, no, and, that, and you know what? That's natural. It's literally natural, right? It's something that we all go and face through um, as humans, okay? <laughs> uh, as humans in life, all right? So things like lifetime achievements, you know, when you're regarding like, um, you know, a great job at the end. I mean, we've all have been through that circle. It's the old way, right? Graduating from college, degrees from universities, courses that you've got to do, certifications, if you're looking at businesses, and also many specializations, right, as well. I have this funny feeling I've got to sign in from another device. <laughs> I really hate that square. <laughs> You know when it's live, right? I really hate that square. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to touch it. I'm not going to touch it. Because <laughs> if I touch it, I'll be signed out. But all good. So, or you've landed your dream job, right? For after doing all of this education background, right? If I knew what we have in mind, though, was going to be available in about 15 years of my lifetime or 20 years of being me being in the workforce, I would have taken a holiday all that time. <laughs> all right? I would have, I've done, I would have done something. Right? But you don't know what you don't know. And that's exactly how I felt when I first got introduced uh, to network marketing. It didn't fit my natural way of thinking. Right? As far as I was concerned, I was living in the lifestyle of my dreams. I was earning my weekly pay, you know, 800 bucks, 900 bucks, you know, in my late teens to my, you know, 20s, my mid 20s, it got a little bit higher. So yeah, I think I was living my life dream. I was, I was getting everything I wanted at least most of, right? But I didn't know anything else above that except maybe owning my own business and that's just uh, an absolute dream. But let me tell you that not everything that worked 100 years ago, can you check out that phone? I found that on the internet and it was just like, I remember when my parents got their first Nokia mobile. It was a brick and a half, right? But not everything that worked, okay, all that ancient time ago, um, would work today. If you can see, I even picked the most simplest phone that we've got available in our smart range. And uh, it, it's, it's quite simple, but it, 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 I mean, it, it does the job, right? Everything is just moving towards technology. I mean, it's changed just over two decades since I've left school in the 90s. And I mean, the late 90s that I've left school. And it's completely changed from then, all right? So what I really want to do is um, get you guys to wake up and smell our coffee, right? Australia produces some of the best coffee. Actually, I think Samoa does. Uh, we do pretty well with our coffee beans, <laughs> but that's another story, okay? So what was the alternative that presented to me as network marketing? It was the option to have a plan B. How often did we ever think of a plan B? How often did we ever think of a plan B? I never even knew that term till I met network marketing. As far as I was concerned, I was on plan A for gold. And that was working that nine to five grind. Being part of the 40, 40, 40 scam rule, right? Work for 40 hours, 40 years of your lifetime to retire on 40% of your superannuation. Because remember the government double dips. You'll get taxed again on your retirement fund. Now, when I heard about plan B, it was forget plan A. It was like, how the hell, how the hell can I get out of where I am? How, how, how can I, uh, you know, uh, make it for myself other than having a nine to five job? And that's where plan B introduced to me, all right? So what really is it that we're looking for? What are we really looking for? When you have a nine to five job, what comes in your mind? Does stability come? Or does multiple source of income come? Or do you want reliability? My multiple source of income, well, back in my mum and dad's day, um, bingo. Remember those housies? 
<laughs> uh, well, I thought that was that was an extra source of income if they got a bingo, right? <laughs> uh, you know, the kind of thoughts that run through your head. But that was in my head at the time, all right? Not that I'm saying that everyone thinks that way, but you know, it's it, it's 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 really it's really funky knowing how you really think in your own space because believe me, you talk to yourself more than you talk to anyone else. Trust me. All right. So things that were shown to me with Plan B. Oh boy. Okay. Is my screen missing? Yeah. I think it's missing. Is it back? Yes. Now it is. Okay, I don't even want to touch that sign out sign. Okay, <laughs> all right. So some of the things uh, that I, 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 I got told about network marketing was that you have to set goals, right? And uh, my, my sense of goals were a little bit different uh, when it came to network marketing, okay? But these are things that we get, we get taught and just... Um, you know, hearing other leaders in the field in your in our company also teaches us how to set those goals and things because they're paving the way, right? So how to get uh, that better income? Because I thought there was nothing better than nine to five, all right? Or even being a business owner, like a traditional business owner, right? Um, anything that will give me, uh, you know, less stress, it's going to eliminate debt you know, uh, enable me to buy a new house or a car uh, with less time than expected by uh, grinding at a nine to five job, right? Retire and enjoy and enjoy it. These are the kind of things that were, um, you know, were getting told to me as I was hearing about network marketing. And also that only 1% are financially independent uh, in network marketing, all right? Now I've met, quite a bit of millionaires uh, in network marketing itself, just with uh, the two industries, just with one now, you guys have all met Tina and Sione, well, bingo, you've met a millionaire, yeah? And then also other experience from other companies as well, you know, with the people that you've locked arms there. But 1%, that is something in my mind, as natural as a green, I wanna pop that. I wanna pop that 1%, prove it wrong. Because I truly, truly believe in the industry that we're in. So most people work hard to live their dreams, life. That's exactly where I was. But they struggle hard from check to check. We struggled hard, right? Pay week to week. Some people live day to day. Some people, they got paid fortnightly. So they, they really didn't know how to manage their money properly. It's just struggle after struggle. It was just, you know, that's just being real. You know, some people got paid monthly. I hate monthly payment. You know, you got this big sum and it looked really cool. And then, yeah, overload shopping. Or I've got to give a hundred bucks here. Or <laughs> being in an island family, if someone knew you had a paycheck, yeah, good luck. <laughs> All right, they'll be coming at you. Trust me, in busloads. All right, so... Well, at least that's my experience anyway, right? So we really work to buy assets in our life. And that's things like cars, your house and everything else. They, you know, there's reasons or even uh, that you've just got married. You've now extended on your family, beautiful children and whatnot, right? So there are circumstances, but we initially go to work to pay for these things. So what can we do about this? We have a home-based mobile business. Tell me if any of these, these things work for you, right? Work when you want, leverage your income, own your own business, and get out of debt, work less, earn more. That's what a home-based business gives you. If I was working my nine to five, I certainly won't be here on production hour. I love the freedom of choice, all right? So by the end of this, I just want you to have a, a, a really full understanding how you can turn things around, that there is always hope in anything, not just in business, but in life. There's always hope, right? You'll find out why so many people don't achieve their goals after working so hard. 
All right. I'll also show you how unique the business model of network marketing that's endorsed and recommended by many financial experts. And I'll share with you guys some of the books that I was told by my first mentors to really get to know what our industry is all about. Okay, so the real reason I believe that most people struggle financially is that they learn to work hard for their money, but they never learn three things that are essential to earning the income and having the freedom they desire. And this is something I've taken from Robert Kiyosaki. He's just, I mean, he, he's the Lord of income to me. Can never be God, but he is the Lord of income. All right, so if, I'll share a couple of books uh, from Robert Kurosaki at the end of the presentation that you can take a read and some of them maybe you've already. All right, so one, how to use leverage in our business. That's very, very important leveraging. You're leveraging yourself and your team to build a really solid legacy income for you and your family as well as your team to enjoy for generations to come. How to create that residual income. How to make money, money that works for you. These are the three pointers I took from Robert Kurosaki. What's really important in network marketing to be able to create these three. Something I can't do in a nine to five job. So what we do is that we work more, we earn more, less free time, work less, earn less, more free time, stop working, income stops too. That's our traditional way of working nine to five. That's what we mostly are currently doing. We are always slave to the clock. Almost like an ant colony. You go one direction <laughs> at a certain time and then you all follow through. Like the, no, one, no one goes out of line. That's how I look at society. All right, but that's just my opinion. So does everyone on here want to know how to stop being a slave to the clock? Because that's what we've been trained to do through our schooling and through life. Do you guys really want to stop being a slave to the clock? Yes. Is it only Robin? Is it only Josie? Julie? Awesome. I believe everyone that's on here. How many of us? 21 of us. Just as much as us to understand our, our business crowd one, we need to understand the industry that we're in as well. All right? So definitely, let's do this. All right? All successful people have one thing in common, and that is leverage. Leverage is the power to earn more and more while working less and less, either by having people or making money work for you. Now, you can't do this journey in crowd one on your own. 100% hands down, you can't do it on your own. But if you work collectively with your team, you guys are gonna be leveraging on each other so well that succession will be like a water flow. It will be like a, a, a bloody, what is it? A waterfall, Niagara Falls, whatever you wanna call it, right? It will flow easily because everyone is doing their part. If all you had to do was introduce two people to be binary activated, can anyone tell me, can you still reach ambassador three just by using a power of two? Yeah, bloody oath, you can. Oh, bugger, is that a swear word? <laughs> oh, well, all good. Yes, you can. It's leveraging those two members who introduce two members and, and so on. If you go with the power of two, you can do it. You can try out the figures in your own time, but if you, you know, multiply that two, you will get to ambassador three. Yeah, you might not get all the other bonuses, but hey, I've got a residual income that's going to blow my mind. When I heard that an ambassador one earns roughly around 200,000 euros a dollar. Do you know how much I flew off my chair? Like, you would not believe it, right? I thought, gee, and that's just one bonus. If I just work towards that, whew, I could help the world and still have change. That's how cool that is. 
All right, so uh, one big massive take I have from Robert Kiyosaki in, in a lot of his book is leveraging people, your network, or leveraging money to work for you. Not the other way around, not you work for money. Here's something I picked up, uh, you know, with um, uh, leveraging, right? It's what we call a passive income. It's productivity of employees where they are working or not. If I've got 100 people that I've introduced in the business and only five people are working, they can still get me where I need to get or where I need to go. So not everyone is working in your network, but if a few are sparked, it's just the same. That's why it's really important that you work with your team. So if 100 employees work eight hours a day, that's 800 hours a day. That's 4,000 hours a week. That's 200, oh, it's supposed to be another zero. Sorry, mate. 200,000 hours a year just with those 100 people. Can you imagine leveraging the income of 100 employees, whether they're working or not? It's unbelievable how people, the network of people, all right, can grow, um, you know, really rapidly as they work together. There's that saying, teamwork makes the dream work, right? It's absolutely 100% correct. But whether you're leveraging on the power of two or the power of one, three, four, five, it will still get you to your end ultimate goal. And that is your dream life, the destiny you decided to master. All right, so let's get a couple of facts. The fellow that you've got here is a professor, Charles W. King, uh, came across this. And uh, isn't that pyramid where the people are at the top making all the money, right? This is a normal objection that you'll get for network marketing. And this is his take on it. The corporation is the best example of a pyramid because the people at the top make all the money. CEOs is the only person who earns and leverage income of his employees. But network marketing is a business model that empowers everyone with the same leverage as a corporate CEO. Now, is everyone on this call, minus me, everyone, oh, it's actually including me, everyone here, are you a CEO of your business? Own it. Take it in the heart. Are you a CEO of your business? Damn right you are. Don't ever think any less. You are the CEO of your business. Remember the multi-wallet, and this is just one product we've got. We own 50% of that PLC company. And this is just one product we have available. I love our company. I absolutely love it. And I love network marketing because it's been able to uh, allow me to see, uh, I would say to see uh, the hope in truth when it comes to earning an income for yourself and your family. Another way, absolutely, that there is a plan B, there is a, a door, a second door that I can go through that uh, gives me another light in the financial sector. And I'm really grateful for the person that introduced me to network marketing, because I wouldn't know any better. All right, so this is pretty cool. And one business secret that I did learn from a lot of my leaders, especially in my first one, is that leaders always duplicate. This was just something that they pumped in, they pumped in hard, was duplicating. If you can, if you can do this, right, it's going to be easy road for you. I'm telling you now, because everyone's on the same page. Everyone is doing exactly what they're supposed to do. So what if a boss shares all his business secrets with the employees? 
everybody will start working at the same level. Earning will rise day by day. That's what I see right here with Crowd1. Jonas Werner, he could have he could have just left it in his noggin. He could have just left it in his cranium and said, "Now nah, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna increase my own my own value, my own financial stability." But instead, he opened it to the world. He wasn't like Mark Zuckerberg or your Google CEOs or your Twitters and that that leverage off the crowd just like we do. But they keep all the money. They keep all the proceedings of their company. They don't share it with the people that shared their content, that spread it the word about their services. Anyone on here been paid by Google or Facebook? Unless you're a YouTuber and you've got about a million subscribers, that's natural. <laughs> it can only happen. No, neither have I, right? Neither have I. But I can tell you, I've got a lifetime, a lifetime of postings, lifetime of likes. I don't know how many hearts I've given out. I have no idea, but it's plenty. But here in Crowd1, we can refer and we can get paid. Either way, business or just products and services, we have an option. And gone the uh, objection of, I have no money. Man, go find four people that can. And you can start your business. This company thought of everything. Absolutely thought of everything. We're set up to succeed, not set up to fail. And that's why I really appreciate our company. All right. So with duplication, this is just uh, the art that goes across all topics in our business. Right. You start learning about the product and you talk about it and you talk about it with your team, they'll end up duplicating you. They'll go and talk about it with their teams, right? You show increase in your business by climbing up the career ladder. What do you think the rest of your team below you are going to do? They're also going to come and shoot up and do exactly what you're doing. They will mimic exactly what they're doing. They will chuck a Planet IX on you. That was just a joke, right? But you know what I mean. <laughs> virtual reality you get it now anyways it could be vague <laughs> all right so it means building a lifetime security that a job can't provide and this is book that is uh you know um the business of the 21st century and if you heard uh you know rich dad poor dad uh you've heard our brother mister talk about that book and it's changed his life uh in, in doing so but yeah no i, I love robert kurosaki Literally, the business of the 21st century, I believe, is network marketing. I totally believe that. But it's all about educating people because that's exactly what happened to me. If, if I, you know, I got introduced into network marketing and it was just, I was educated. I was, I was told otherwise. And then I had the option to do my own research. And that's how I got these books and reading, you know, uh, different, I, I love biographies. I love you know, business books telling you otherwise, but, uh, you know, I haven't gone that further step by, you know, going to a personal coach or something on a big stage. But maybe in my first network marketing, that could have been the case, but now being with Crowd1, I don't even need to go there. I've got enough leaders in my Team No Sleep family to look up to. Absolutely. Each and every one of us we're, we're running our own race, but we're, we're teaching each other collectively. Our different styles suit to others. Uh, the, the tonality of our voice when we deliver things is different. Sometimes it appeals to others. Sometimes others hate it. But we have a choice. We have a choice. And we've got great leaders amongst us. Great leaders. Absolutely. All right, so here's another one, Paul Zane, uh, Filza. Network marketing is clearly the best vehicle we have today to educate people about new products and services. It's the new way of advertising. Gone the traditional moments, but you know what? We've got one skill that's still standing to the end of time, and that is the word of mouth. 
It is a power that we leverage as a crowd. It is one of our greatest assets we have as mankind. It was there before pen and paper even came to existence. All we need to do is dig it out, right? Dig it out because it's natural. Don't be shy about talking about our business. Don't be shy about talking about our industry. Don't be shy about you being a CEO. Think of being a mirror in the, you know, man in the mirror. Whatever you, um, you know, whatever you transcend, that's what's, that's what's going to transpire. Through the attitude to passion to everything, everything that falls in place in what we do. All right, so these are some of the books that I, I was given to me and I, I, I got to think about exactly what network marketing was. So if you guys want to take a screenshot, uh, go for it. Okay, so the book on network marketing by Richard Carl, Cashflow Quadrant by Robert Kiyosaki. I love that book. Okay, so if you haven't heard about the quadrant, please uh, take a read. But before you do that one, read Rich Man, um, you know, Rich Dad, Poor Dad first, because it sort of flows on to your quadrant flow. You'll, it will give you a little bit of a background. That's just a little tip there. Business of the Century, 21st Century, Robert Kurosaki again. The Secret by Rhonda Bryan. All right, The Science of Getting Rich by Wallace D. Wattles. Imagine that, a day, almost an uh, alliteration there. <laughs> Except for that D, it broke it. All right, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. All right, so that's an absolute fantastic book. Really uh, takes it on another level just when it comes to uh, passion and desire, how you really don't need money to even have that sparking within you. All right, that's just another level. So just as a quick summary, guys, don't want to keep too much of your time. All right. Uh, if your income depends on time and effort, then your current situation, all right, is no going to, is no going, is not going to be changed. Sorry about the typo error. <laughs> I've been up around the world this morning, so all good. All right. So if your income depends on the time and effort, then your current situation is not going to change. If you are working, anyone here working a nine to five job? I'm not picking you guys out or anything, but is anyone working currently while doing crowd one? Yep, not cool, that's cool. All right, do you see yourself retire in five years, B-Ray? You see yourself retiring in five years with your current nine to five job? No. Okay, maybe I'll reword it again. If you're currently working nine to five, can you see yourself retire in five years with your current uh, annual wages that you're receiving? Okay, all right. If you alternatively now know that there is a plan B with network marketing, and that's crowd one, that's our plan B, can you see yourself retire in five years? Cool. Awesome, fantastic. And you will. And you will. Right? The best thing about us, we have to, you know, you need to self believe that you will retire in this business. I've never seen anything like it. It proposes a model that's unlike uh, any crowd model out there. And then it's in the best industry ever. Absolutely. So network marketing to me is the best option. You can work part-time, not even full-time. Actually, you can do it quarter-time. You can put a few hours and still succumb yourself to the same ending. And that's Ambassador 3. You just got to be consistent and persistent within your journey. You work from home. So I don't need to go and get myself in a car, go to a petrol station because I ran out of gas. I forgot to put petrol in last night and go to work. I don't need to do that. 
I'm at the comfort of my own home. And without a lot of money, time, and employees or experience, how much have you forked out for crowd one? At the moment, does that super exceed what you will pay in your petrol gas tank for a whole year? If you were working your nine to five? And you are absolutely right, Julie. Become an expert in your field. It costs more though. We had a little money. I started with um, roughly, I think it was 180 Australian dollars when I started. Yeah, I've upgraded since, but still nothing compared to what it is I was saving. That's even better but it's less money than I would have to fork out for my lunches and my gas bill just on my nine to five job. That's without hitting my mechanical services, my road service, you know, service, uh, road service certificate, whatever, your blue slip, pink slip, all of that hasn't even been accounted for. But what do we need for our current business? A mobile device, a digital device, something you might already have, so you don't need to put any more outlay, any more extra outlay on your equipment because you're already equipped. We've got to be smart with how we make our money. We've got to be smart with the tools we have available. Only last night we were cleaning out because we've got a house inspection. Um, inspection. <laughs> inspection okay uh this week and uh i was cleaning out a, a a cubicle one of those um cubicles you get by ikea all right and uh i found my three my my iphone three one of the first models of the iphone right when they first got released the apple iphone and you know what i put in my sim card and it still works today how cool is that <laughs> right so you'll find that you've got tools i don't care you've got tools yeah it still works man it still turns on still has my sim card but it's roughly in um well slash 2g 3g so i'm not going to get uh too much um quick turnover on my screens it will take a bit to turn over um you know to download anything for that matter but yeah not even the space for it <laughs> but um it still ticks i can still receive a call you know, so uh, yeah, I was a fan of not bashing up my equipment. So they were pretty much um, in a coffin box if they weren't used. All right. So put it that way. <laughs> All right. So um, that's a, that's pretty much our topic for today. I really wanted to um, just give you guys a little bit of an idea of our, our industry itself, that it's, it's definitely none other like any other industry that's available to us um, around the world, right? And it is creating more millionaires than you can think of. I mean, the, the stats, if you, if you go on Google later after our production hour or whatnot in your spare time and just type in how, you know, how much money was actually um, distributed last year in network marketing, you'll be astounded at the numbers that you'll see, right? It's creating more millionaires than you can think. But of course, in our business, there's more no's then yeses, right? Because at the end of the day, it's a numbers game. So I know that we're trying to hit our mark. That's 300,000 plus. The only way we can do that family is that we share this concept. Use our very tool that was given to us naturally by birth. And that was our lips. Open it and voice it. Use that diaphragm of yours. Pop it out and bring that vocal and share an amazing blessing with many. Well, there you go. Thanks, Brother Stephen. Near 42 billion USD dollars in MOM last year in profits. Now, I've got, I've got a presentation. Maybe I'll share it on, on our training on Wednesday or whatnot. But some of the stats, you'll be astounded, okay, uh, of some of these numbers. But you're definitely at the right place at the right time. You're definitely... Um, are going to be successful in this business because you will, right? The only person that will stop you is you, yourself, and you, and you, and you. That's the only thing. If you decide to give up, then 
that's your choice. But I will have my Jandor come to you because you're part of the furniture now. Don't you dare leave our team no sleep family. Oh, hell no, you're going to be doing that. We're in the right place at the right time. We've got the right vehicle. We've got the power to leverage our crowd. Now, if you want the rest of the world to come and take our region over, you've got another thing coming. We've got great leaders in our team. We are a fantastic team. We've broken records. Then let's do that for the second wave. We've done the first wave, right? We've established a foundation. Now we've got to build our pillars. That's where we're at. We've got to build our pillars to strengthen the next stage, right? Because we're still in the momentum phase. We're nowhere near our optimal peak. If you think you've done the best you can right now, take that bloody thought out of your head, right? Well, you're going to kiss my jandal. No, we're not done yet. We've just started. We've just started, right? So there's no sleeping family, none whatsoever. There's a reason why you're here. There is a divine appointment why you're here. You're not just here for the fun of it. You're here because you want to change. You're here because you were sick of sick of being sick and sick and sick of anything. If you won't change now, then it ain't going to change later. If you ain't got no time now, when are you going to have the time later? You need to break the cycle. And we have exactly what we've got. Believe in our business. Believe in our industry. And believe in you. Those three are going to take you to the magic world of succession. And we're going to succeed together. If one fails, we all fail. Right? If one fails, we all fail. We've got to go over the line together. Pump it together. I don't care what team you're in. You call me up and you need some help. Yeah, we might be a little bit delayed. That's because everyone else is chasing everyone else's tail, right? Be patient, but we will get there. That's the one thing I can hold with our family, right? Someone will be able to run to your aid. So love you guys. Thank you for the topic. <laughs> Thank you for the opportunity for the topic. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, it was just something that was in my heart. Because I really want to pump you guys up. I really want to wake you guys up. Um, you know, we're not here to waste time. Time is an essence. Yesterday's gone. Yesterday's gone. Today is today. Tomorrow hasn't even reached us. Anything can happen in two seconds. To take the moment. Be in the moment. And enjoy it. Absolutely. Have fun and enjoy it. But love why you're here. And if you think you're going to quit, think of why you're here. Is it for your babies? Is it for your family? Is it because I want to be the first millionaire of my family? Does it, is it, does it mean I want to be rich? Does it mean I just want to help the world? And at least have a change so I can buy my Happy Meal? <laughs> I thought I might put that in. <laughs> no, it's kidding. But you know what I mean? Whatever reason, whatever reason it is, pop it, Right? We can dig in there and get it and make that your fire. Let it burn. Or in, in Frozen, it's let it go. Let it go. Yeah, let it go. Let it go and swing. Let's see who you truly are, right? Bring that essence, that energy, that all that you have inside you, burn it. Bring it out. Because I don't think I've fully seen everyone really bust it, right? Give us your true nature. Don't hide. Because God created you uniquely. God created you with your intended gifts. Take pride in your gift. It is special, whether it's good or bad. There is a reason why you hold that gift. All right. So thank you. Thank you again, my team. I hope you guys are having a lovely breakfast. So what I'll do is I'll open it to the team if you've got any takes. Wow, I'm actually on time. <laughs> so if it was a power of 30, it would have been a okay. Awesome, fantastic. But I just want to get an idea uh, from the team, you know, um, how, how you're tracking or, or just your, your intake in what network marketing is and, and how that's doing for you altogether, just irrespectively of being with Crowd1 or any other businesses in the past, because I never mock any network marketing business because it displays hope. 
hope for people that there is something else out there than what they've been presented currently in their lives. All right. So I'll open it up to the team. I want um, to I wanted to say, Queens, you you've busted it out of the ballpark this morning. Thank you so much. That has been such an awesome presentation. Um, anybody that's not inspired after that, go home. <laughs> um, I, I just want to say that, you know, uh, me personally, I was made redundant three times in my working career. Three times. I had no idea. Um, I'd, I'd go to work that day and then all of a sudden you're called into the office and then all of a sudden you're told uh, no more job, you know. Thanks, thanks for your time here, but, yeah, we don't need you anymore. Uh, it's so heartbreaking because all the loyalty that I gave those companies, uh, you know, I was just a number, okay, um, and I'm sure I'm not the only one here who has felt like that and then you know you go home and you 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 know you cry for a couple of weeks and then you have to pull yourself up and go and get another job just over broke you know um and i am so grateful that yes i have found found um network marketing and in particular this one because it is the best it is the best i've never seen anything better than crowd one um, and, you know, Quinny, I really love how you brought it all together because, um, you know, a lot of people that see the presentation, I think what you have done, um, you know, is really good for people to watch after they've joined or maybe even before they join, um, you know, what is an MLM, you know, but we want them to join first, right? And then we can show them that as a, as a, um, <laughs> as, as a bolster. Okay, so yeah, well done, sis. 